Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at a card game called Over and Out. I found this at the uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, well, it's made by the same people who made Sequence, which is a fun um, card and board game. So I figured, why not pick it up? It's a dollar. Came in a nice, pretty big box. Looks like it might be all right. So let's pop it open. So two to eight players, ages seven through adult. This is over and out. It's an exciting numbers game for players of all ages. It's a fun way to adding and subtracting too. Add your cards to the pile, but don't go over the tip top limit as the numbers add up. So does the excitement. Last player in the game wins. Use some strategy along with a little luck to put your opponents over and out. Well, that's what it says here on the back. Um, pretty okay box. So we're going to pop it open. See if it pops open better than that Pac-Man box, which it does. We got some chips. It's pretty cool. And let's see what the cards. Got two decks of cards. The instructions. Box is intact. Always nice. Don't have to rip it. Let's open these up. So a five and a zero. Some number cards. Here we have the instructions. Just one page. Pretty easy to read. So. Unlike that Pac-Man <laughs> instruction uh, pamphlet. So, seems a pretty straightforward game. Go over the rules here a little bit. So we're going to separate the tip top cards, which is five of them. I have like the limit numbers on them and the over and out cards. We, uh, we shuffle both decks up. You really just kind of mix the tip top cards up because there's only five of them. We'll give these a quick shuffle. So, so I'll look glance there of a special card. There are a couple special cards that are really kind of like gotchas and change the course of the game. Um, we'll go over those as well. So you're going to deal out um, cards to each player. And the way it says it's kind of odd. It says deal out four cards to each player kind of like at a time. Like one, two, three, four to you. One, two, three, four to me. So maybe that's just a misprint. Could be. Either way, I don't think dealing really matters. As long as people get their four cards, they can... Gameplay should continue uh, the same. So let's get uh, like two hands set up and see how it, see how it works. So we have our deck set up here. We're gonna flip over the top tip top card. So that's our limit there, 44. So we can't go over 44. You can see each player has four cards. Uh, me, the dealer, and the other imaginary player there. Four cards, four tokens. You know, the amount of tokens. Is how many cards you can have in your hand. So everyone starts with four. So you'll get four tokens at the beginning of the game. So you can hold four cards. But there's ways to lose those tokens. And then as the rounds continue, if you have less than well, however many tokens you have, is how many cards you're going to be dealt at the beginning of the next round. So here's uh, my hand. We have a 10, a 2, a top out, and a spin out card. So we have a couple of gotcha cards and two number cards. So 44 is the limit, so you don't want to go over that. So you're going to start playing cards into a discard pile by the over and out um, deck. So I'm just going to play a 10. So now there's 10 on the board. And cards are going to add up or subtract, you know, whatever they have in people's hands. So they make sure they don't go over 44. When you do, if you're the person that does go over 44, then you're bust and you're, you're out of the game. So... And uh, but if you also, yeah, you lose a token because it's kind of like a last man standing game. So he's going to play a four. So a ten and a four. And at the end of the turn, you announce how much is on the board, like in the discard pile. So it's currently 14 in the discard pile. So that's the current number that people are going to be adding to or subtracting from, making sure they don't go over 44. And you can also not go below zero in the game. So if you had... If it was like a oh, one and you got a negative ten, you cannot, you can't play it. So he has like a zero, a uh, topsy turvy card, a negative ten. So you can play that negative ten, and it'll be four. It kind of resets the board a little bit, and gameplay will continue, like I said, on and on until someone busts. Then it is a token, and the new rounds um, begins. And it says you can change the dealer if you want. It doesn't really matter, I guess, in this game. So I'm just going to play that negative 10 and take it down to 4. 
So let's take a look at the special cards in the game. We have a top out, a spin out, and a topsy turvy. And what's nice, they say what they do on the cards themselves in pretty easy print. So top out, if you play that, that means the, the discard pile is at the top of the number. So you play top out, it's 44, it goes to 44. So someone has to play a negative number or another like um, special card. If not, you know, then they'll bust and they'll be out and the round will end. So that's how you play the top out card. So what could happen, what seems like what could happen, you have a spin out card, which is reverse direction of play. So if you did play the top out card, then you can play the spin out card, it would go right back to you. And then you would have to deal with <laughs> having the, the, the card, the discard pile topped out. So maybe you had like a negative, so you could like, um, so there's a little bit of strategy in, in doing that. So you keep a negative in case it does get spun back to you. You can play the negative and you'll be fine. Topsy Turvy, you get to select a new um, tip top card off the bat. So play Topsy Turvy, no matter what, whatever card that is, it's going to go away. It's going to flip over the new tip top card, and that's going to be the new limit for the round. So, but if you do play it and then you can't play on it, like if the so not on it if the discard pile is higher than the number you flip then you're going to be out of the game so uh, there's some some risk reward in doing that or sometimes you may just have to play that because that's all you have and then if you can't play you know you're going to lose a token as well gameplay continues till people lose all their tokens um, like I said last person standing wins the game so it seems like a pretty fun game uh, pretty easy to play, it looks like. Uh, for a dollar, I'm very, very happy with the purchase. Uh, the cards look good, stock is good. Um, yeah. So if you see this at Dollar Tree, over and out, uh, I would pick it up. I think I think you would like it. You could probably technically just play this with regular cards, and since it only has three special cards, but I don't know. I think I'd rather play it like this. Anyway, thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.